Fancy Nancy, the Poison Ivy Expert by Jane O'Connor. Look, I am picking a bouquet of wildflowers. Watch out for poison ivy, mom keeps warning me. I am, I am, I say. I know what poison ivy looks like. I know the rhyme. Leaves of three, let it be. Why, I'm practically a poison ivy expert. The next day, I bring the bouquet to school. Bree brings cupcakes and Robert brings purple punch. We conceal everything. We are having a surprise party for Miss Glass. It's her birthday. By lunchtime, I am so excited about the surprise that I get all itchy. My arms itch, my nose itches, every inch of me itches. Nancy, you have red bumps on your face, Bree says. I do? Yes, I do. Miss Glass calls home. Dad picks me up and we go to the doctor. Can you guess what is wrong? Yes, I have poison ivy. It's all my fault. I am not a poison ivy expert after all. And what if my bouquet has poison ivy in it? Dad lets me call Miss Glass. There is no poison ivy, she tells me. Just beautiful flowers. Merci, Nancy. She hopes I am better soon. Later, Bree stops by. I am too itchy for company, so she sends stuff in our mail basket. A note from Miss Glass says, everyone is starting a journal. You can write yours at home. Bree's note says, Thursday is pajama day. Will you be back? No, I won't be back Thursday. I am miserable. All night, I itch and I itch. The next morning, I am exhausted. Mom shows me a little jar. It's from the lady next door. Mrs. Devine says to put this cream on your bumps, Mom tells me. It is a home remedy. Ooh la la, I don't itch. What is this magic cream? Mrs. Devine says it has jewelweed in it. Jewelweed grows in her garden. I like the name. Weeds are not fancy, but jewelweed sure sounds fancy. Mom brings home a library book. I learn about poison ivy. Then I start my journal. I put in many fascinating facts. These are all written by Nancy. In the fall, poison ivy turns red. It looks very beautiful, but don't let that fool you. Stay away. Dogs are lucky. If they touch poison ivy, nothing happens to them. My dog, Frenchie. If you touch a person with poison ivy, you will not catch it. Just don't touch clothes that still have poison ivy on them. By Sunday, I really am a poison ivy expert. Tomorrow, I go back to school. Yippee! In the afternoon, I go to Bree's house. Ooh la la, there's a surprise party for me. There are cookies and punch. We all dance to an old rock and roll song. Guess what it's called? Poison Ivy.